all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play and Transport Fever 2 Free Mode Edition. In the previous episode, we acquired some newer locomotives that replaced some aging ones on the main line, particularly a CNO Canal 284 to handle the coal train from the mines to a power plant, as well as finally getting started on delivering loads of, well, bricks, champagne, silverware, and machinery into granite. Now, once all these these get to one unit, we will get the task of serving one town with all the needed commodities ticked off. But before we do any work, we'll need to get started on revamping some of the route names. For example, the services connecting the towns, a town supply freight train is starting to get a little bit difficult. Yeah, because some of these are going to different locations. So I'm changing this to 6A. Seven A. Hmm. Let's see. Only alcoholic barrels, so let's see. Unless this destination is has the same name. Then it's gonna basically be, well, let's see, it's 7B, no wait, it's gonna be 8A, no wait, it's gonna be 9A, nine 9A, nine 9B, nine 9C. This is going to be 9D. Oh, wait, hang on. Uh, dang, I'm actually getting confused right now. <laughs> Uh, hang on. Let's see. Alright, as long as I go into a same destination. Let's see. Black Diamond City Branch. Yeah, this is going to be Freight Train T6A because it's basically the first freight train to deliver supplies into town. Same for this. Actually, it's going to be 4B, and this is going to be 5A. Greenwood, Greenwood. So... This will be four. This will be three B then. Longhorn Yard, Lemonton Sidings, Woodsburg Sidings. City Richland Transfer, Upper Granite. Okay, that's basically taken care of. Now, hmm, let me see what else I could basically work with. We already ha need to get steel as well as build steel and copper in, but I know a particular good locomotive that we can basically use for the next train to service that station and bring building materials into town. 
since it's going to be the first one to deliver loads of uh, more material, it's going to basically be freight train TSB to B, which will be delivering loads of, well, build no, not building materials, war materials. So, freight train TS one wait hold on uh two B war materials Woodsburg sightings needs fruit juices. Alright, I think with that taken care of, we can now basically increase the game's speed, and actually, huh, our first load of stone has arrived, but not a first load of, well, uh, oil. We got some new buses, a new airplane, a Douglas DC-4, and a new locomotive, the big boy. As well as, oh, some nickel plate road Berkshires. That will be very helpful. Now... Let's see. We'll need a locomotive to pick up the loads of war material and take it down. Let's see. We'll basically get the big boy. And the cargo type needs to carry, basically, war materials. So it's mostly in open top bo closed box cars. Randomized vanilla boxcar. Oh, I forgot about one of these. So I could just put a couple of these on along with the generic ones. Actually, let's make. Let's actually see if we can make some unique color schemes. All right. Actually, let's see if we can make the colors a little bit more interesting. We'll get a caboose. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's actually take out one of the box cars. That'll give us about 502 units. Or, hmm, I want to have a rounded number. There we go. We'll just sell this train and just buy a new variant. And put it on to work on the new service. He'll pick up the war materials from the factory and bring it into town. All the while, Greenwood would needs war material as well. So, if we can copy the same train that this locomotive is hauling out, we can replace this locomotive on the front end of this train with one of the new Nickel Plate Road Berkshires. But, considering we now have a new destination for this load, let's see, which freight train type? TSB-3B. So, we're going to make a new... We're basically going to copy the same destinations as this variant. It'll pick up war material from here at the factory. And basically drop it off at the in the town. This will be freight train, let's see. It's food stuff, so this is freight train T3. T 
TS3, which will be C War Materials. The new train that I basically set up in the roundhouse will basically be used on that service. Get it to it, that is. Alright. Plus, with the new buses, I feel like it's time to replace some of our aging ones. Now, let's see. Bus. Yeah, these buses are starting to look a little out of date. Particularly the... These ones. But yeah, bus service A... It's time for these buses to be taken, replaced. And we're going to use a couple of these twin coaches buses and restore them to their original colors. Uh, let's see. You know, these buses have been driving around for a while. Although they were our first motorized buses, I feel it. But it's time to basically get a much better type. We'll basically use the F. BWAN40 bus. These buses hold 18 passengers, but they're still reliable. Too. Yep. Now let's basically continue on with our operations as we speak. Still plenty of sand and going out and has this train hasn't even arrived to pick up the load of campaign. This train is still making its way. Oh yeah, because there's a freight train ahead there's a train of oil heading in front of us. Hmm. Well, let's see. We do need to get started on transporting gold material, so we'll basically connect to this Kingsburg Gold Products Factory. And then just basically deliver gold products to wherever town needs it. Particularly, the town of Black Diamond City needs gold products. And we also gotta get started on transporting freight into Riverside. I have neglected that for so long, it's starting to basically so now, it's time to basically modernize. We'll basically get a freight station set up at four tracks, and it will basically bring in loads of building materials, cigars, and asphalt for now. Only until I'm able to basically start producing other commodities. Of course, I gotta get rid of that row to make some room. As long as I'm able to support the towns by delivering as much needed commodities as possible, I will be satisfied. This train, this station will basically be able to transport, accept a lot of commodities from several industries. But the question now remains, how am I going to basically, I need to basically bridge over and reconnect to the main line here. Let's see what I can basically do in a limited amount of space. Well, I could always curve it and then just raise the track up. Then flatten that track out. then do this connection here but also to basically do that double slip switch it and then all I just need to do is just curve it 
just need to build it over the electrified section of track in one way or another. Hmm. I wonder. Maybe I might be able to get access to one particular type of bridge. Yes, I don't know if I use this bridge or not, but this girder bridge could be very, very helpful. It's small and compact, but it should be able to basically handle the curvature of, the, of this track above the electrifying main line, as well as the line serving the silver mine. But now I need to change this track to the correct type. Let's see if I can find it. Hmm. Here we are. There we go. Girder plate. Girder track. It'll bypass the plastics plant. I'm afraid I'll have to base. I'll eventually be able to connect it to the main line by this route that leads to the freight station in town. And since this is an industrial line, there's no need... To, I'm not actually concerned about having multiple crossings. As long as it's an industrial line and has no connections to a nearby town, then I don't mind if there's like five or six great crossings at a time. Fifty miles an hour on this curve... That. Let's see if I can basically... Ooh. I'll probably just do another... Uh, I'll just do a girder bridge. Oh no, that will go into the way of the catenary. No thanks. Uh, I guess this will work. But the pole is in the middle of the track. That will not do. That will not look well. Well, thankfully, I could use the 300 distance catenary pole here. Or maybe not. Uh. I'm just gonna get. I'm just gonna revert it back to what it was. Looks like I'll have to basically build around again. Uh, I don't like it when I basically try to build something nice and it doesn't look great. This will do. Get that done, and basically build a bridge over this. And now, with no pull in the way, this track will look a lot more nicer. And also, to make the track a little more nicer, I'm also going to get rid of that excess bridge. Let's see. Yeah, this is an industrial road, so... Another crossing will do. Oh, we also got a new look for the Fillmore and Western 280. Some new Studebaker pickup trucks. And some new uh, boxcars. We'll probably make another freight train with those in the future. But for now, we still got some work to do. I have a feeling that pretty soon we'll basically be getting something a little more modern for our freight operations. Might as well speed up the time a little bit more to increase our profit margins. And hey look, there goes our new Berkshire. Must be on a test run to make sure it knows where to go when it's delivering its machines to Black Diamond City. We'll curve it here and curve it onto this. 
and we'll basically replace these aging sig this pair of signals on the main line with the new ones. And also, because of the new track, I'm also setting up the signals with color lights instead of semaphores. I know I don't want to do it, but modernization is coming in fast, and I need to make sure that everything is ready for when we get new equipment in the not too distant future. Perfect. Let's smooth this track out a bit to make it look a little more nicer. Plus, this new line will allow us to deliver refined oil to the chemical plant to produce plastics. Which, according to consumers, plastics are required in goods factories. And there is a goods factory in Granite that we can later supply. Plus, at the same time, with our new trucks, we can also get started on replacing some aging ones. Like, these Benz trucks. They've been good for several years, but they're starting to basically get a little old. So... We're going to start replacing them with these tarpaulin trucks. These Studebaker ones will basically work a lot better. Same for uh, these, I believe. We'll just replace them with some opal types. Truck C. That basically is bringing in fruits into town, so... Uh, we'll just replace them with them for... Model 77. These will basically serve uh, delivering cigars into town. We'll basically go for the... We'll just go for a couple of these new Volvo trucks. The back ones are still doing okay, and so are these new Vol as well as the Volvos. Speaking of which, I want to actually know what express train has been making the most money. As I have planned to basically make it an express service. Oh, this service has not been making any money as of late. And there's not a new express train that goes from Black Diamond City to Woodsburg. I gotta get that, I gotta get a new service for that route immediately. But the others are, well, maybe it's just because it's the beginning of the Pretty sure there'll be more people traveling by train soon enough. Hopefully. Because this Atlantic has been working hard since I bought it in 1902. I want to make sure to keep it going as long as I can. Well, wait a minute. It's still connected to this industry. Oh. It ran out of grapes by the time it arrived, so it hasn't picked up any. Well, at least this 280 is making its way back with a full load. Speaking of which, why is it going at 30 miles an hour? That doesn't make any full-on sense. Well, as of this point in real-life history, the war is over and everything is back to normal. But I have a sense that we're going to basically experience a new age of technology coming into the future. Coming in. Some of this new technology being a little more modern for our railroad operations. Which will be happening in about 3, 2, 1. We got some new buses, a bigger version of the SOAR S4C, a new cargo airplane, the Bristol Fire Freighter, as well as a new passenger diesel, the Calco PA, a newer version of the E2A, And also a newer diesel, though the recently released Dem Alco FA1s, which will be perfect for handling freight, a newer Berkshire, this one from the Virginian, some new boxcars, and a PB unit for the Alco PA. So we're now basically getting into the forefront of dieselization. Now, let's see. Well, with the new diesel, I think we can finally get started in transporting asphalt into town. So, we'll set up a new route. Since this is going to be the first time delivering the uh, asphalt into a uh, first freight train to Riverside, this is going to be, let's see, 
This is going to be Freight Train TS-11. Eleven A, which will be asphalt. And according to uh, the commodities available for the Well actually, let's see. Now these Alco FAs can be recolored. So I might give them a nice uh actually Let's give him a nice coat of North Central Red. We'll have two A units and two B units. Same, two A units with two B units smashed together. And some new... And pick up the loads of asphalt in these gondola cars. Actually... I have a better idea. Let's see, which freight train is bringing down a bring down Foxite? This mic. Uh well, I think we'll basically replace it with the C and O 280. Well, not the C and O, the Virginian 280. I not 280, the C, the Virginian 284 Berkshire. But the train carrying the grapes, however, that train will be changed up. I'll sell, I'll replace this Adrian locomotive with the new Alco FA. And move these locomotives up to the front. And modify. take a little bit of time but now we got ourselves a new pair of diesels to help us out of our freight trains and the coolest thing is oh these diesels are actually these passenger diesels are uh, these alpha FB units are not free because they uh I think just a pair of them will be fine and no problem oh my gosh I gotta remember to basically only place the eight the units that I want to repeat and keep the cars as they are. Well, might as well buy some new ones. Wait a minute, how come these cars carry 30? What kind of what's what do these diesel even carry anyway? Well, they actually carry minerals for some darn reason, so, uh, that's a bit weird. Well, I think, with all being said and done, I think we actually have reached a good ending point for today's episode. So, if you enjoy this episode of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2 Free Mode Edition, I, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Texas Gaming Industries for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my outside schedule. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye!